Hello, I'm John Salona, and welcome to my talk on applying systems engineering and decision analysis to creating a perinatal operations center. Let's dive right in. Applying systems engineering and decision analysis to healthcare, the perinatal operations center. Let's start by looking at what is the opportunity and why does it persist? U.S. healthcare spending has been growing rapidly and as a percent of GDP and is the highest per person but does not result in the best health outcomes. So even though healthcare costs in the U.S. have increased drastically over the past several decades, U.S. health indicators lag far behind, including life expectancy at birth and other measures such as infant mortality. Despite total U.S. healthcare spending rising rapidly in absolute dollars. Let's consider the factors driving healthcare. We went into these in detail in an earlier paper, but a number of factors combined to produce broken decision-making and crazy costs driven by many things, including healthcare culture, lack of engineered processes, etc. But we'll skip ahead to the short summary. In the church-led medical profession in the late medieval ages, the scientific revolution broke in forcibly, led by the non-clerical barber surgeons, but medical care managed to entirely miss the industrial revolution of standardized design and improved processes. As a result, even though healthcare technology is space age, healthcare processes resemble medieval craftwork. Hospital systems are currently unconnected and constrained by their own requirements, leaving caregivers to fill in the gaps. A lean engineering consultant hired by Stanford Hospital estimated that it was 32% efficient. The upshot? Costs are possibly triple what they could be. With a two-third reduction cost potential, it is not crazy to think of being able to reduce total cost 10% while increasing quality, safety, patient, and staff satisfaction. These are huge numbers, and existing healthcare margins and returns on investment are tiny by comparison. So what, you might ask, is a perinatal operations center, or more generally, what is a hospital operations center? A state-of-the-art hospital operations center would provide real-time actionable data on critical hospital functions, coordinate admissions, scheduling, resource allocation, and patient monitoring, manage hospital network, equipment, and software performance, manage and monitor patient physiological data functions, provide situational awareness of hospital-wide data, and manage near-miss and event data, while coordinating emergency crisis response. So that sounds great, but why build one? To drastically increase the efficiency of hospital operations and reduce operating costs, to dramatically improve the patient experience and patient satisfaction, to increase patient safety and the quality of care, and to improve job satisfaction by helping doctors and nurses do their jobs better, faster, and easier. And how does an operations center do this? By applying systems engineering methods honed in decades of practice in aerospace and defense to create actionable real-time data on critical functions and status, which currently doesn't exist or resides in unconnected systems, housed in a single command center for unified, coordinated, accurate, and rapid decision-making. This system, if it existed, would pull from existing systems to form an integrated means of managing patient care. To start this process, we need to find the minimum viable ecosystem to engineer and create tangible benefits to drive evolutionary change on a larger scale. We are currently focused on labor and delivery, including the neonatal intensive care unit. These units are often the highest per square foot revenue in the hospital. And how in doing this are we applying systems engineering and decision analysis? Well, to start with, let's look at the system we're tackling. 
Perinatal care interacts with many systems and subsystems. If we look at just what's in a perinatal center, there's labor and delivery and the neonatal intensive care unit, and each of them has many other units within it. These all interact with the hospital environment, which has sections ranging from hospital administration, policies and procedures and funding, to administrators, managers, staffing, quality improvement, patient placement, patient tracking, and all these external functions that the perinatal center relies on. Pharmacy, formula prep, critical care transport, all the way down to information technology, environmental services, network, and food services. And this is just everything going on inside of a hospital. Interacting on all of this are government regulators and insurers, the effects of national hospital, professional, and risk management organizations, referring hospitals, telemedicine and telemonitoring, and external transport services. So it's a very complex picture, and part of the challenge in putting together a perinatal operations center is carefully defining the system and subsystem scope and how they interact with each other. To tackle the challenge, we, would we are partnered with and would employ Qualtech Incorporated Systems Engineering Methodology, which allows us to build, test, and deploy an operations center in stages. This process is built on decades of working in aerospace, including at NASA. It begins with human-centered design, from which we create a concept of operations, systems requirements, a high-level design, then a detailed design, and then starts the actual building process of software and hardware development, unit device testing, subsystem verification, system verification and deployment, system validation, then working out the operations and maintenance, and at that point, we are finally ready to launch the system. So that's how the systems engineering part of it works, but how does the decision analysis part come to play? Well, for those of you not familiar with it, decision analysis was developed to address the problem of making high quality decisions under uncertainty. It drew from roots in decision theory, economics, cognitive psychology, and systems engineering, and was pulled together by Ron Howard at Stanford and Howard Rafa at Harvard University. It works by building the decision basis in pieces. We start with alternatives, information and beliefs, including on uncertain events, and preferences for time value of money and risk. These go into a logical model, which allows us see, to see the implications of our decision basis and create the insight necessary to arrive at the best decision as to what we should do and why. But we have to remember that the outcome is still uncertain because quantifying the uncertainty doesn't control it. Good decisions are logically consistent with what is known at the time, the decision basis. A good outcome is what you hope will happen. Likewise, understanding is built in stages. In basis development, we get alternatives, information, probability assessments, risk tolerance, and discount rate. That feeds into deterministic structuring from which we get a ranking of the uncertainties and identify the most important uncertainties. That in turn leads into probabilistic evaluation where we get the value and the risk of the alternatives. And then we look at it all in basis appraisal to come up with the recommendation and rationale for it. And the whole process is iterative so that we're working on it until we have a clear, confident understanding of what's best to do about each decision and why. In this context of a perinatal operations center, decision analysis would be used to determine included systems and subsystems, determine systems requirements, identify key metrics to track system operation and success, and quantify systems impacts and value and create the business case. So that's how the pieces all fit, toge 
are all fit together. And our current status is that we are currently working with a candidate facility and pursuing funding opportunities, including grants. We would welcome other interested labor and delivery facilities or funding opportunities. Please feel free to contact us if you would like to discuss what we're working on. Thank you for watching. This talk was presented as part of the 2022 International Conference on Computational Science and Computational Intelligence. Do check out the paper also published with this, co-authored with myself and Dr. Louis Halamic of Stanford Medical Center. Thank you for watching and happy holidays.